exactly what's an argument for the reboots. Now, I want to make this clear. I loved the original Teen Titans, Ben 10, and Powerpuff Girls. These shows were action-packed with lovable characters and some pretty funny moments. All the shows were a really big part of my childhood. That being said, even though these shows were a part of my childhood, the reboots didn't quote-unquote ruin my childhood. Do I particularly like the shows myself? No. Do I think they're bad? Yes, but not because they're reboots. Why I don't like the shows is a whole other video in itself. Anyway, today I'm going to play devil's advocate and defend these reboots by addressing some arguments people constantly make about the reboots. The first one is, eh, it ruined my childhood. Ha, ah, that age old complaint. Look, as one of my new favorite commentators, Doodle Tones, stated, if it ruined your childhood, then you didn't have much of a childhood to begin with. It's called a reboot for a reason. It isn't going to be the same show. Look at the reboots of Disney movies. Everyone complains about them because it changes too much. Even if Cartoon Network rebooted it exactly like the original, people would still complain. Look at the Beauty and the Beast reboot. It was basically the same movie with some minor changes and people still hated it. I loved the original shows, but the reboots didn't ruin the characters since it's just a new version. Now, if Cartoon Network had the original show running but changed it to be like Teen Titans Go, then I could see the problem. To be honest, I think the most honorable thing to do for these shows, if they want to go in a different direction, is for them to reboot it. I'd much rather prefer them to reboot a crappy copy of Teen Titans, Powerpuff Girls, or Ben 10. Heck, Teen Titans even had an episode praising the original show. To be short, it only ruins what you let it. The second argument is, it's everywhere. This mostly applies to Teen Titans. I get that it's annoying to see a show you hate aired all the time. Believe me, you have no idea how annoying it was to see breadwinners infecting Nickelodeon so I couldn't watch anything else. This is simply because kids who watch it eat it up like candy and it burns the company money. Shows with actual plot and care like Steven Universe don't get as much screen time because they just aren't as profitable. It's about money, which kind of sucks, but it's very important for a company. Ratings and money. The third argument is the humor is horrible. This point is kind of... Well, dumb. Humor is really subjective, and to children, at least eight-year-olds, think the humor is pretty good. Sure, a lot of us won't find the show very funny, but it's kind of meant for eight-year-olds and younger. Not teenagers who are upset about, about it not being the exact same show we all know and love. Now, that doesn't excuse the fact that the humor is very low quality, even for kids, and no real effort. But that's kind of the thing. Kids really don't care if humor is just a bunch of lame jokes. My niece loves the show, and she's like six. The fourth complaint is, it ruined the characters I know and love. This is the same as the argument that it quote-unquote ruined my childhood. You're the one who decides if it ruins a character. That's like saying Suicide Squad movie ru ruined Harley Quinn or Beauty and the Beast ruined Belle or the Beast. It's creating a different interpretation of the character. While the character is different, it's not the same character in a way. The easiest way to explain it is to think of an AU. It's the same character, but just under a different interpretation. The fifth one is the episodes have no plot. This is kind of, again, kind of dumb because these shows really weren't created for the plots, just for mindless humor. Kind of like Breadwinners. If you want a plot-centered show, watch you Steven Universe, or debatably an old show like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Or, you know, the original shows, I'm pretty sure you can find them somewhere. I know it's important for kids to have, sh to have shows that have good characters and plot. There will always be those kinds of shows, but then they'll always have shows that are just for humor and little plot. I love Teen Titans, but I also really like SpongeBob and Fairly Odd Parents which don't follow a solid and co or complicated plot. The last one is it teaches bad morals. This argument is equally as bad as the last one. If a show is mainly for humor and not so much a good or thick plot, then more than likely you won't find any morals. There will be shows like that, but again, there will also be shows that teach kid about morals. None of these shows were created specifically to teach morals. To be honest though, shows tend to drift away from teaching morals older generation because it's assumed at this point they already know basic morals. This argument also bugs me because if you're relying on TV to teach kids morals that a show based on humor get your panties in a twist, then I would be more worried about other things. Like I said earlier, these shows are more humor based, so they wouldn't be teaching morals anyway. So to summarize, no, I don't like the reboots all that much. They aren't masterpieces by any sense, and the humor gets annoying quickly. But they aren't bad because they're reboots, they're bad because I just don't like them. They aren't my cup of tea, like most anyone else. Well, that's all I have to say on this subject. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you can subscribe if you want to watch more. Thanks for watching!